Hi, this is Richard Campo from Rose Capital Partners. I wanted to put this video together to talk through the role that life insurance plays when coming to get a mortgage. Um, when you first get a mortgage, very rarely does it cross your mind, what happens if I die? You know, you're normally thinking about um, all the nuts and bolts stuff you need to do, probably thinking about all the fun things as well, you know, the furniture you want to buy, the friends you have around. So that sort of statement is quite jolting, I completely understand that. However, it does sort of fit into our main core value as a business, which is working with our clients from when we first meet you to when you're mortgage free. That's what we do. So in an ideal scenario, that's a case of touching base every few years, refinancing the loan, keeping your costs down, getting the loan paid off as fast as possible. That's the ideal scenario. However, life does get in the way and this does happen. I've been around long enough to see it many times. So we're sticking to our core values to talk about what if this does happen and what impact it has. So that sort of falls into three broad topics then. Why you should take out life insurance in the first place. What happens if you think you don't need cover? And then thirdly, what type of cover is appropriate? So to deal with that first topic then, um, why take out life insurance in the first place? Um, by its very nature, it's not something for you, it's for those around you. And that's really the main thing you need to consider is if I'm not around, what happens? What happens to my partner, my family, my children? What impact would it have? That's really, really the first place to start. And if you think there's going to be an adverse impact on you being around, then you need cover. The second one is to make sure that your long term plans are carried out. Um, by our very nature, you know, humans are very resourceful. You know, it's probably the case that if you weren't around, your partner or your family would figure a way out. They, they probably would. But the real thing to ask is, is that what you want to have? Or would you rather the mortgage is cleared and they have enough cash to carry out their plans? So that may be that they inherit the property. It may be that the children go to the right school that you want to go to. So if you weren't around, would that happen? You know, that's really what that's for. Um, and then lastly, this is sort of a bit of a strange point. But this is always sort of the way I think about it is that Money gives you options. So conversely, no money means no options. Money is really just a tool to give you freedom to do the things you want to do. So this is a way that we can give you and your family freedom to carry out your plans. And it goes back to that point before, if there's no money, there's no options. You might have to sell the property. You might have to, you know, really, really sort of tighten the belt or change those plans. We don't want that to happen. So it's a really simple solution. So that's what takes us to then why you think you might not need cover. Um, to be very blunt again, um, the only people that don't need cover are the people who are adequately protected. So maybe you've got something in place, you've taken out insurance already and it covers the mortgage, fantastic. Great, well that's, that's it, you've done your job. But um, if that isn't the case, you know, you might sort of think, well, I've got cover through work, I don't need it. Um, again, what cover through work might be adequate, so that, that might work. Two things to think about though are, one, if you're using variable pay to get the mortgage, so if you're using a bonus or commission, you'll find that any work benefit doesn't cover bonuses or variable elements to your pay. So it might not be sufficient to clear the loan. Secondly, what if you change jobs? Um, funnily enough, I'm the perfect example of this. I started life in a bank, very well looked after with benefits, life cover, pension, or works. I'm now self-employed running my own business where I have literally nothing. I've had to put it all together myself. So. You can obviously just leave it to that point further down the line, but it costs a lot more money. So why don't you plan for it now? Put cover in place to clear your mortgage. Then if you do stay in your role, that's the money that can go to your family. So it's a very, very cost efficient way of actually clearing the mortgage and then looking after your family by sort of using the work benefits, but not relying on it, if you see it in that sense. Um, it may be that you think, well, actually I've got assets. Um, that are the mortgage value are more, so I, I don't really need cover. Well, you probably have plans for those assets. So do you really want to liquidate them to pay off the mortgage or was there something else planned there? Um, and also as well, it's, it's really a case of planning. So, you know, if you can put life insurance in place where you can pay off the loan, you don't have to do that, which means more wealth gets passed through the, uh, through the family. And surely that's a good thing. And the last and very blunt point is there's only two certainties in life. There's death and taxes. It's been said many times before. So if you think you don't need cover, you sort of do. It's a statistical probability that you will. Um, whether it happens in the mortgage term or not, we really hope it doesn't. But what our role is here is to make sure that if it does, you and your family aren't adversely affected. So last point then is what type of cover is appropriate? So we're a mortgage brokerage and that's the way we see the world. That's how we approach everything. So our primary concern is the mortgage that we put in place, can we clear it? That's all we're interested in. 
We're not going to say, actually, you should do all these extra bits and pieces and bolt things on where they're not necessary. That's our core consideration. Can you pay off the mortgage and can your family survive without you? So that's where we come from. Um, so the level of cover will always be related to the mortgage and independence. That's the way we see it. We'll also look to cover the match, uh, sorry, look to cover the type of cover you have with your loan. So there's primarily two types of insurance uh, when it comes to life cover. One is called decreasing sum assured. So that will then decrease with the mortgage that's typically used for a repayment mortgage. And the second is called a level term, um, which is then flat through the mortgage term, which is typically used for paying off an interest only loan. And if you are doing part and part, which you do a lot of these days, then you might do a combination of the two. Not to say that's necessarily what we'll do, but that's a very high level of the way we approach it. Um, the second thing is around the different options that you have. So as I mentioned with those two sort of ways of setting up the cover, that's very simplistic. Um, what you might find is that you might want to what's called index cover, so you can offset the cost of inflation further in time. And it might be that you want to write the policy into trust so it's then paid out of your estate. Now we can do all of those things and that's quite complex and don't have time to get into that now. But those conversations are best had on a one-to-one -one basis. So please talk to the team, we can talk you through it and make sure you get the best possible outcome. So that's it really, that's just an overview and some of the really high level things you need to think about. At the end of the day, you're an adult and you'll make your own decisions. Our role is always the role of the advisor is to show you of what the pros and cons are of what you do and if you don't do certain things. So we're here to guide you, make recommendations, but it's really up to you what you do at the end of the day. But this does show how serious we are about this because we offer all of our clients a free will, irrespective of if you take cover through us or not. Um, if you haven't experienced it, you've probably heard of a situation where a member of the family dies and the whole family falls out because they fight over what they thought the plans were. So if we can give you a will to eradicate that risk in your family, that's the very least we can do. So if you'd like to look at that or anything mentioned in this video, we'd love to talk to you. Please do get in contact.